Thank you for the privilege of prayer. Thank you, Lord, for the confidence we can have in you and in your word. Thank you, Father, that you've not dealt with us after anything like sin. Now the waters according to our iniquity, but you've been merciful to forgive us and gracious to prosper us to see yet another day. We bless your holy and righteous name. We ask you, Holy Father, to forgive us of our sin, on as your children, protect us, as your servants lead us and guide us in your way everlasting. We you know we will guide you. Ask you, Father, to give us wisdom and understanding, even in the sand by the seashore, and may keep your law. Bless the King of Kings, bless the Lord of Lords, bless the ancient of days, to give you glory for yet another day. We praise you, Holy Father, for your goodness, your kindness, your grace. Thank you, Lord, for having mercy on our souls. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise today, Holy Father, for all that you have done. We thank you, Lord, for what you've done for us since the beginning of this year. Thank you, Lord, for what you did for us on yesterday. We worship the ancient today to give you glory, to give you honor. Oh, unchanging will change you. We bless your name because you change us. Thank you, God. You have remained the same. We thank you, Lord, for the barren that came through. We ask you, Father, Tend our supplications today. Hear our prayers. Again, Holy Father, just let us be with you. Teach us, and we will learn. Open our hearts, and we will understand. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray with thanksgiving. All agree with that prayer. Say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you Holy Spirit. We are praying this morning. Give us the name that will bless us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That every satanic hindrance targeted against our angel of blessing be dissolved by fire in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O oh Lord, deliver us from evil stones thrown at us by unfriendly associates in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, let every evil riot and rage against us be disgraced in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, deliver us from every satanic noise in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O Lord, 
Lord deliver us from the tumult of the people. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pull down the power bases of wickedness of my family line in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let every evil crowd seeking to take our lives be scattered under desolation in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, arise and uproot anything you do not plan in your church in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the fire of revival fall upon Golden Triangle Christian Fellowship Church in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the power of peace and progress overshadow our nation in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, arise and give us God-fearing leaders in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are joining us by Facebook, Golden Triangle Christian Fellowship Church. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Beaumont, Texas. grateful for you joining us today to our members on the parking lot this morning. God bless you. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your regularity. Thank you for your support. Those that are at home, God bless you today. God keep us, make us perfect in every good work of our mission. We began every service of prayer for our Lord Jesus declared that my house will be called a house of prayer. And I recognize that to mean that no praying ought to be going on in anything else. Hallelujah. I want to pray now for abundance. The Lord shall open unto us his good treasure the heaven given rain to our land and our season to bless all the work of our hand. We shall lend on the man of nations, we shall not borrow. We take great joy in your strength, O Lord, in your salvation, how greatly we rejoice. Give us our heart's desire, and not with the other crest of our lips alone. You, O God, prevent us from moral failure with the blessings of bitterness. Set a crown of pure gold on our head. We ask life of you, and you gave us eternal life, even length of days forever and ever. Your glory is greater in your salvation, O Lord. Honor and majesty you laid upon us. You made us most blessed for ever. You made us exceeding glad with your confidence. But we trust in you, O Lord, and through your mercy, O Most High, we shall not be moved. Our hands shall find out all our enemies. Our right hands shall find out those who hate us. You, O Lord, shall make them as a fiery oven in the time of your anger. You, O Lord, shall swallow them up in your wrath, and your fire shall devour them. Their fruit shall you destroy from the earth, and their seed from among the children of men. They intended evil against us. They imagined a mischievous device which they are not able to perform. Therefore, shall you, O Lord, make them turn their back. And you shall make ready your arrows upon your strings against the face of them. Be exalted, Lord, in your own strength. So we sing and praise your power forevermore. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. These prayers were given in March. 2022, Pastor Arana Samson Jr. O Spirit of God, hope over our finances, speak light and life them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O God, engraft us into your tree of abundance in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O God, cause your face to shine brightly upon us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, plant us in our financial needing in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O Lord, cause all our allies to find us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O Creator of heaven and earth, reveal to us the hidden treasure you have for us and bring us to them yes. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Wisdom of heaven, come to us for our finances in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every good financial seed that we planted lying dormant in the soil, water find you, light find you, sprout and bring forth abundant fruit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O wisdom of Solomon, come to us for our finances in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Money and favor, find us now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O Lord, guide us to our financial wills in Jesus Christ's name. O God who sees, cause the waters of abundance to flow to us and our household in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O Lord, let 
the anointing of Joseph abound in our lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The time doesn't give us, therefore, windows of heaven be open and pour all our blessings to us. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us find the palm trees in every desert in our finances. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every wall of Jericho in our finances collapse now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, bless us in the land of our affliction with abundance. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the creative ideas you give us make us rich and further the kingdom of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Liberality and generosity are our portion. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Pray now, pray for correction in our finances. Tree of life be resurrected in my life. Tree of life be resurrected in my life. Tree of life be resurrected in my life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, make the dry places firm in our finances in Jesus Christ's name. Oh Lord, unlock all the padlocks on our treasure chests in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Brother, my Lord Jesus. Rebuke the devourer in our finances in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every diversion of our financial blessings away from us. Oh Lord, reverse the diversion. Cause the finances to flow to us now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, make the crooked way straight in our finances in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every fight for our finances in the spirit realm be won in our favor. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ ground that was iron and scoundrel with grass in our finances. Turn back the fertile soil and abundant rain in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That our seeds always find good soil in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O oh God, defend our finances in Jesus Christ's name. O oh Lord, repair and investigate in our finances in Jesus Christ's name. Every lock on our finances is not ever key. A not you loose. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every financial bullet be flipped on your head. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, who tears among our harvests, burn yourself up. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, all treasure chests with our name on them, find us now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, oh God, show us as you showed Jacob how to make strong what is weak in our finances. Oh God, for every Goliath we kill cause us to be paid fairly. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Kill David, come to me. And unlock every door closed against me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, of more than enough, bring our finances from the prisons of the palace, just as you did for Joseph. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, I honor you with my money all of my days. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every Haman type spirit in our finances, hang yourself in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Spirit of Mammon, we are not your dwelling place in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, open your good treasures unto us now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May our treasure and our heart remain with you, God, regardless of our financial status. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy, Spirit. Thank you Holy Spirit. We pray now on the third days of prayer. We are praying today, day number 17. And we pray especially for those who are challenged, who are challenged in their body. Amen. We believe that bodies are healed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. Any power that wants to attack the Lord's church in the night or at any time, let the ground open up and swallow them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Father, Lord, clothe your church with a garment of fire in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You root of impossibilities, be uprooted from the Lord's church in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You wicked eaters of flesh assigned against us. Fall down and die in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Parasites, viruses, bacterial infirmity, 
Our bodies are not your habitation. Die now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let our bodies be redeemed from the power of sicknesses and diseases in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Power of hardship in our bodies, die in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every evil decree upon our destiny, die in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every work of the enemy in our lives, catch fire and burn to ashes in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our portion stolen by the wicked, we recover you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Arrows from the dream, hear the word of the Lord, call you out of our body in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Arrows disallowing our prosperity from gathering, come out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Resurrection power, power that cannot be defeated, come upon us. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, arise and deliver us from satanic detention. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Evil marks suppressing our glory. Die in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father, do good things you've never done before in our lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Agenda of corrupt leaders for our land. Be nullified with the blood of our Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You dark stronghold in charge of sickness and disease in our land. Fall down and die in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We use the blood of our Lord Jesus to sanitize our land and cleanse it from every witch sponsored sickness and disease in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You dragon power behind this pestilence. We bury you forever by the power and the blood of our Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Strong man behind this pandemic. He bind and cast you out of our nation. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Lord Jesus Christ. He alone is worthy. To receive honor, glory, majesty, dominion, and power. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let's prepare now to praise the Lord and worship Him. Why? Because He's worthy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Pastor Lynch is coming. Praise the Lord.
favorite song. It has been a mainstay for me these 50 years of preaching. All right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many times I've turned to this song. Glory to, God. Glory to God. Psalm number 126 in your Bible app. By your Bible, your leather Bible, your paper Bible. And I'm reading from the King James version. Don't get thrown off with that song of degrees. That just means steps to Jerusalem. That's all that is. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, that's us. It was them, but it's us now. Hallelujah. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, the Lord have, great done, have done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us where we are glad. 
Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth or weeps, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves or his harvest. And the writers add there, with him. Hallelujah. I'm going to use for our subject today a dream of deliverance. A dream of deliverance. That we all praise God for his favor to his people. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Unsure theologians are, and I certainly am because I wasn't there, unable to really spot in time when this actually took place, probably the best we can tell it was around the time of, of I think Cyrus's first year, a man as king of Persia, who felt that the Lord commanded him to help his children. And the bondage that they're in is not a bondage as we might imagine. They are not in bondage as they were in Egypt. They were actually uh, overcome, amen, because of their sin, because of their rebellion against God, that no one can rebel against God and go unscathed. God takes notice of everything. Nothing misses his eye. The old preacher was right. He sits high and looks down low. Hallelujah. But the captivity that they were actually in, they were free to move about. They even built houses, so forth and so on. But the essence of that captivity is that they were not where God wanted them to be. Too many today are in captivity and may not recognize it because they experience some freedoms that people of color, a man, whatever we call ourselves, I call myself black, well, that's what I am. That we see the same atrocities happening to our race, our culture, our community of people that happened a hundred years ago. That police didn't just start killing black men. They've been doing it for years. And they were known to be killers of black men. And they would have my trials and jury to come back in 10 minutes and find them innocent, yet they knew they were guilty. The captivity that Zion was in at that time is more or less akin to that. Free but still captive. And I want to paint captivity this morning as being where God doesn't want you to be. That too many today are in captivity and don't know it because they're able to do whatever they want to do and, and think that God takes no notice of it. But in this text today, we see Zion having been free from captivity, no longer under the rule of Persia. And we compare that to the child of God. Amen. Zion. No longer under the rule of those who hate us. The devil. But made free. For he who the son makes free is free indeed. Yes. That our situation is that we are born in sin. Shaping in iniquity. And 
God, not in an afterthought, redeemed us, but had decided before Adam fell that he would redeem us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The causes that, I, again, I say that led to captivity were their departure from the laws of God. And not just the laws of God, because, you know, we, we read of the laws of God in the Old Testament. No, nobody was able to keep all of that. We only see one man, Job, who the Bible says is skewed evil. That was right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because we see failure in all of God's generals. Amen. Amen. We see David, the man after God's own heart, we see a lot of failure. But David knew how to get back right with God. And anywhere outside of God, you are in bondage. But I want to talk this morning about this dream of deliverance. All right. For it says that when the Lord did turn our captivity, we were like them that dream. We were dreamers that when deliverance comes, it is certain. When I was a boy, the old folk would sing a song. I looked at my hands, my hands looked new, I looked at my feet, they did too, so forth and so on. But there may be no difference in your physical appearance other than you've been made free. And it feels like a good dream. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But it's a dream you don't want nobody to wake you up from. Unless I forget to say it later, I want you to know it ain't just a dream. When the Lord Jesus makes you free. Listen to me, children. Too many times God answers the prayers of Zion, the prayers of the saints, the prayers of the children of God. And because there is no clap, there is no thunder, there is no noise, there is nothing spectacular. The enemy tries to make you think that God didn't do anything. That is just a dream. Mm -hmm. But I want to tell you that deliverance is never just a dream. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That the, the conditions that the Israelites the Zion was in, that they, they were oppressed in Babylon. They, they sat down by the rivers and, and they wept. The psalmist says, how can we sing Zion songs in a strange land? They mm -hmm. hung their harps on the willow trees, so forth and so on. And they followed the advice of the prophet Jeremiah. As I said, they, they built houses in which to reside. That there were great possibilities before the ambitious Hebrews, they could do pretty much what they wanted to do. They were just not where they should be. And I'm going to say this this morning, anywhere you are, no matter how comfortable you may pretend you are, if you're not where God wants you to be, you are in captivity. All right. That the synagogues were built during this time. But King Cyrus, Persian, he makes a proclamation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He proclaimed his dominions that the Lord had charged him mm -hmm. to build a house at Jerusalem. That's wonderful to me how it is that God can put into the heart of those who didn't have a covenant to do his bidding. And they are more anxious to do it than those who have a covenant. There's a space in this scripture I want to point up now as I get to say it later. That the scripture reads that the heathen. Then said they among the heathen. The Lord have done great things for them. And then the response, the Lord has done great things for us. I want to say, don't let the heathen praise God for your deliverance before you do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
it's unfortunate when the heathen can see what God has done and Zion can't see it. Mm. Help me, Lord Jesus. Help us. That beloved, it's, it's like this. You, you've been, the Lord told me to say this, you've been in bondage far too long. You've been in, been in bondage too long. The dream of deliverance is not just a dream, it is God's will for you. Hallelujah. And God has dealt with, with us through dreams for years. We remember the, the dream of Jacob. He saw his ladder and Laban and Joseph had a dream of, of, of his family being and making obeisance to him. The, the dream of Gideon, of God giving him victory. We saw the dreams of Solomon. And then you too have had dreams. And the Lord has showed you things. Sometimes you think that it was just a dream. Listen to me. God does and can communicate to us through a dream. Yes, he can. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And much of what, and, and there are preachers who declare that every dream means something. I ain't quite sure. Simply because I don't know enough. I, I like them see through a glass darkly. But I have had dreams where God instructed me. Yeah. I've had dreams where the Lord has given me a whole sermon. I've had dreams where the Lord has given me a plan for his church. But know something, it wasn't just a dream. And I want to encourage somebody today because the Lord has visited your house. Yeah. He has visited your domicile. And he who the Son makes free is free indeed. Thank you. Don't be moved by what you see. Don't be moved by what you hear. When God says he has moved, when God says you are delivered, it's not just a dream. It may feel like a dream, and that's not ain't nothing wrong with that. All right. But please know, when God moves, something really happened. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. When the Lord turned again, I captivity. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. That the, the joy of, 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 of waking up feeling new, the joy of recognizing a new day, the joy of, of, of being healed. Hallelujah. Yeah. And, and, and you know that you are. Mm -hmm. now, and before the doctor tell you, because he can't always tell you, he just tells you, tell you you're much improved or uh, something like that. I can't explain, you know, some of them are not able to say that, that God heals you because they don't know that not enough about God. But there are some who do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That the Lord can turn captivity. Yes, he can. That you may be in a situation where you think there ain't no way out. And I want to tell you, I want to say something here this morning, that some folk want to try to tell you that when you get yourself in trouble, you got to get yourself out. Hmm. Well, um, I, 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 I beg to differ with that. See, because God does not leave you because you fail. Right. That's not his way. Man, God has a way of working things out in spite of us. Yes. He doesn't leave. I think I like to say it like this. It's, it's kind of like he's, he's like that wrecker on the highway. You know, you drive down the, the highway in, 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 in the inner city, you know, in the city, and you'll see wreckers parked on the side of the road. They're there in case something happens. They don't care if... If somebody got pulled over, they didn't have no driving license. They don't care if somebody got pulled over, they had dope in their car. They don't care if somebody got pulled over because they were speeding. They don't care if somebody have a wreck. They're there to pull a wreck or disabled car or un, uh, 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 impounded car off the road. God does not assess your situation when he delivers you. He doesn't look at look at say, now how many points they got. Now, did they do this? Did, look, God is there to deliver. And I said it for years because he's the first one on the scene does not mean he's the perpetrator. Yeah. 
when God first shows up, that's 1950s criminology, by the way. When God shows up, he's there to deliver. He's there to help. He's there to get you out. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you today, he'll do it. There is no situation that you can find yourself in that God can't find you out. Come on. Ooh, thank you. What you mean by that, preacher? There are no situation you can find yourself in that God can't deliver you from. And I want to say this. Stop trying to figure out how you're going to get out. <laughs> wow. Help me, Lord Jesus. Well, well, why would you say that, preacher? Uh, I'm going to tell you why. Because you can't get yourself out. You cannot deliver yourself. Come on. That's a distinct impossibility. You're going to have to trust God. I mean, look, just just be, be, be straight with him. Lord, I messed up. And I need your help. And I'm telling you, he who the Son makes free is free indeed. Thank you, Lord. You've been praying and praying and praying and praying. And the enemy has painted a picture to you that nothing has happened. And that's a lie. Yeah. You're not in the same shape you were when you started praying about that situation. Mm -hmm. Help me, Lord Jesus. Help us, Lord. When the Lord turned again our captivity. It is like a dream. That's how beautiful it is. That's how beautiful deliverance is. It's like a dream, but it's not just a dream. It is a certainty. Hallelujah. That God, he, he returns to his people. My oldest brother, he's with the Lord now. He had this saying, if you no longer live close to the Lord, guess who moved? <laughs> my, my, my. It wasn't the Lord. The Lord does not move from us. You have to move from him. And even when we move from him, Zion, we are still his. Still. And I still, still hear him saying, even when we have messed up, I'll never leave you not to say it. Thank you. So that you can boldly say, the Lord is my helper. Oh. I should not fear what man should do to me. Here's our issue. We don't call on the helper enough. We don't trust the helper enough. All right. I'm saying lean, trust, uh, put, put your trust in the Lord and lean not to your own understanding. God already knows what he will do about your situation. And many times we are in captivity of our own doing. Yes. That doesn't mean the Lord's not going to help you. I'm back on that. That, that doesn't mean that the Lord won't help you because you got yourself in trouble. That's a lie folk tell you. That's a lot of devil is telling you. Yes. Well, you got to get yourself out this time. How did you, how, how, okay, tell me, how does that work? Hmm. How no. does that really work? Say that. Because you cannot get yourself out. Mm -mm. Really, honestly, and truly, you don't really know how you got into it. Oh. My God. Help me, Lord Jesus. Listen to me. They say, when the Lord turned again our captivity, the joy of, 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 of leaving Babylon, the joy of getting out of trouble, the joy of being redeemed, the joy of being delivered. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is like a dream, but it's not just a dream. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I mean, walking with the king is like walking in dreamland, y'all. And what I want to tell you is the Bible is clear. Your deliverance is not. Let me say this today. Beloved, you, you, you're looking for God to come down from the sky. And, you, and you know, we, we, we sang that and we say that and I, I understand what we're saying. I really do. But trust me on this. He doesn't have to come from anywhere if he's already here. Hallelujah. And he said he's not going to leave you. Oh, I wish I, I, wish I had the, 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 the wherewithal to really talk about this the way the Lord showed me. That, that beloved, this psalm is, is, is right after the 125th psalm. And that 125th psalm, it, it, it says that, 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 that the, the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. <laughs> that, that beloved 
those folks are right. Trouble don't last all way. Yeah. You, now, I want to encourage you today. Would you please stop getting in fear when the devil shows up? Children, demons tremble at the name of Jesus. Yes, Can you do. say his name? Hmm. <laughs> demons tremble at the at the name of Jesus. What that mean? That mean they run in terror. Terror. They are afraid of the Jesus in you. Mm -hmm. Help me, Lord Jesus. Help us, Lord. Now, beloved, I, I, I didn't come to hold you no long time today, but I do want you to know that you can be delivered. And when the Lord delivers you, could you just just stay with him? Hmm. We would like them to dream. Can, can you just stay with him? Don't, don't treat it like a dream. Because it's not a dream, it's real. You see, when the Lord delivers, let's just, just, just use a habit for an example, okay? All right? The Lord delivers you from a bad habit. And you know at that moment that you deliver. Yeah. And you don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. And it is because you've been delivered. Don't go trying out your deliverance. Going back to it. And see if it's the same. Because all you do <laughs> is undo what God has done. Oh, Lord. I hope somebody's listening yeah, to me. But... That, that beloved, that is a posture for walking in deliverance. And here it is. Bragging on God about what he's done. The Lord has done great things for us. Yes, he has. Well, we are glad. Yes. I want to say like my daddy would say, give God his due. Yes. He's worthy to be praised. You did not get yourself out of it. Stop bragging on yourself Come on. and give God the glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And don't doubt him. Don't doubt his word. Don't doubt his actions. Don't doubt what he does. Help me, Lord Jesus. Help us. Because you look at your hands and your hands don't look new. That don't mean nothing. Your hands get old. That's all. That oh. <laughs> <laughs> Help me, Lord Jesus. Ah. Dear beloved, oh. the Lord has done great things for us. Well, we're glad. Now watch this. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. Now, they said the Lord had delivered from captivity, and they're asking them for captivity, to deliver them out of captivity. Let me tell you what's really going on. When you're delivered, you have to believe for the Lord to keep you. Once you're delivered, mm -hmm. the way to stay delivered is to stay with the deliverer. Who delivered? The Lord delivered. Hallelujah. I'm talking to somebody this morning. Yes, you are. And he told me to say these things to you. You are delivered. It's not just a dream. Look, I don't know how many years I smoked cigarettes. Tobacco cigarettes. Help me, Lord. You have to qualify these things. I hope you're doing so much different stuff. And I just stopped. Cold turkey. <laughs> yeah, right. The Lord's name is not cold turkey. <laughs> the Lord delivered me. Got it? The Lord delivered me. And how I went from smoke, smoking a pack of cigarettes a day to no packs, it was God. I looked around one day, and there were no ashtrays in the house. There were no pipes in the house. And I didn't take them out. <laughs> and I had some pretty ashtray too. And heavy lady crystal and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. My children's mother threw all that stuff out. <laughs> and I didn't even know it. I'm telling you, he who the sun makes free is yeah. free indeed. Now watch this, watch this, look at this. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. Meaning, let it flow on me. Just flow through me. Wash me. Keep me in your care. But then it says, it's almost like it, it's turning the corner. It says, though that they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Now that's 
the part that always gets me in this song because like you, sometimes it appears that your good is evil spoken of. You try to be helpful and it's taken for something else. Amen. And of course, when you try to help people, you will get your heart broken. I mean, you know, thank God that he absolves most of it, you know. Yeah. Thank God for that. But look, they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. What is he really talking about? He's talking about basically um, playing with a leaky seed basket that you sow intentionally and unintentionally. You flow like a river, pour like a pitcher. Yes. Turn yourself up and pour yourself out. Do all that you can to plant the seed. And listen, if people don't want to hear what you say, it's okay. Yeah. The seed has been planted. God's word does not return to him void. It will accomplish the end for which he has sent it. Listen to me. Somebody can hear the, the seed that you plant, that word of God and talk about you, complaining about you to somebody else, but they get blessed just from hearing that word. This person is offended by the word, but just that repeating it, God has sent it out. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Even, beloved, when it hurts, so see. What do you mean, Pastor? I'm not just talking about giving money. I'm talking about giving yourself. See, because too many times the temple once plans have gone filthy for lack of attention. Too many times we are delivered and we fall back into the old ways because of an ungrateful heart. Help me, Lord Jesus. Help us, Lord. That what we have to do. All of what we have to do, what God has called us to do, is really by sowing ourselves into this generation. Everything that God has called us to do is about sowing ourselves into this generation. Because what he wants us to have, he's going to do it through us. What I mean is, by and large, what God is going to do with people, he does it through people. Yes. And we have to take that serious enough to be obedient and not worry or concern ourselves about how we're going to be received. Mm -hmm. Because he that goeth forth with weeping, bearing precious seed, sometimes watering the seed with our own tears. That's what it literally means. Scripture's clear. You're going to reap in joy. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look, the Lord is going to look after your harvest. Yes, he is. And I'm not just talking about money. Yeah, he's going to look after you always after money, but I'm talking about you sowing yourself into others. Mm -hmm. You got to seed your life into somebody else. Be worth something other than just taking up space. Yeah. <laughs> Help me, Lord Jesus. He to go forth with weeping and bearing precious seed shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bring his sheep with him. Yeah. I want to say to you today, I preach a lot of sermons. Need 50 years. Some were heard. Seemingly. Some not. Seemingly. But I want you to know God is faithful. Yes, He is. He is faithful. Yes, he's, His mercies are new every morning. Every morning. He is faithful. Thank Listen you. to me. What He has for you to do, no matter how it appears to be received, trust me on this, it gets so. And every seed that you sow, the Lord watches after your harvest. You may sow it in New York and reap it in, in California. What you mean? That beloved, when you sow, yeah. you sow to the Spirit. Mm -hmm. And God's going to reward you based upon your obedience. Thank you, Lord. Now, as far as taking care of you, uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. He's going to take care of you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This dream of deliverance, beloved. Yes, you are delivered. 
Don't, 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 don't let, don't doubt God. Don't doubt what he's done. Hallelujah. He's faithful. Yes, he is. To complete every work that he's put into you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That Thank you, Lord Jesus. Captivity is not a permanent situation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What can I do? That's right there in the scripture. First thing you do is you praise him. The Lord has done great things. That's what makes us glad. <laughs> and he keeps on. Keeps on. He keeps on doing great things for us. Yes. We don't know how. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I mean, I don't I, mean, I, I it's it's beyond comprehension how the Lord loves us in spite of ourselves. How he cares for us in spite of ourselves. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Come out of captivity. What's that? Somewhere you don't belong. Come out of that. Come out ye from among them and be ye separate, says the Lord. If you obey, if you be willing, first, if you be willing and obedient, the Bible says, you need to go to the land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And beloved, he that's anybody that goes forth and we what what what, what, what do, do you have to cry? No, you don't have to cry. And it's really not about crying as much as it is the intentional pain of the heart. That sometimes how we receive can inflict pain on the heart. And you may not be a crier. I mean, you know what? I, I didn't cry for years. I mean, I, I had plenty of trouble, but I never cried about it. I never cried about trouble until my first wife died. Well, the truth of the matter is, she would cry for me. I mean, she can cry. She could cry all day long. Oh, Jesus. <coughs> but the Lord gave me Laverne, and Laverne laughs for me. <laughs> Go ahead. Hallelujah. That beloved, they is so in tears to reap in joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He that goes forth and weep, bearing precious seed. The Lord's going to see to it that you come again without a doubt with rejoicing. God has a way yes, of making you happy that you did what he told you to do. God has a way of making you sure. Hallelujah. And what I mean, sure, when I'm talking about putting you in a place where can't nobody move you. Your dollars come again with rejoicing. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. There is a brighter day ahead, children. Yes. And I'm talking to, 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 to who the Lord sent me to this morning. Lift up your head, O ye gates. Even lift them up, ye everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in. Yes. You already know what you're going to do about your situation. And I'm going to tell you, you know, Dottie Peter saying this song, he's a on time God, yes he is. And I understand what she's saying. To with him, time is not. Hallelujah. But he does have a schedule. And I'm telling you, he can schedule your deliverance. And I mean your deliverance is not even right now. You that are not where God wants you to be, you already know it. You're not doing what God told you to do. You know it. Fear is not an excuse. Well, I, I, I don't think I can do it. That's not an excuse. And you, God's not going to accept your excuses. He's going to tell you why. Because he's not depending on your power, your credentials, know how. He has the power that's going to enable you to do everything that he told you to do. You can be better. Thank yes, you can. Yes. yes, you can. Anywhere outside of where God wants you to be is captivity. And I want to invite you to come out of there today. You are Zion. You are out of place. All right. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And it's time. You've been in captivity too long. Come home. Come home to God. Yes. Hallelujah. In deliverance, there's joy. There's peace. There's contentment. And everything that you need.
Praise God for his faith. Hallelujah. Praise him for his faith. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. into my life. I receive you by faith as my Lord and Savior. I ask you to forgive me of my sin. I'm sorry for my sin. And I thank you for your forgiveness. I ask you to fill me with your Holy Spirit so that I can serve you the rest of my life. Lord Jesus, you are my Lord. I'm now a new creature in Christ. I'm a child of God. Thank you for saving me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. That's what it takes to give your life to Jesus. Get yourself off the throne and put the Lord Jesus on the throne. Come out of captivity. Come on over to Zion where God lives. <laughs> My blessing today, God keep you as my prayer. I've done my best for this time. Hallelujah. We'll be back on Wednesday on Facebook at 6.30. Look forward to sharing with you then. Amen. Our members, we're still on. Hold on. We're going on Facebook. 
praying for you, beloved. Thank God for you. Remember my beloved cousin, Beulah Marie. Praying for you today, girl. It's going to be all right. God already knows what he's going to do. God bless us today. God keep us with my prayer. Until next time.